She is so freaking unique. And I know everyone says that about their cat, but she is a personality. She's feisty, she's cuddly, she's so loving. She doesn't sleep in her bed. She doesn't sleep in her cat tower. She needs to sleep in the bed with us. She needs to be cuddled up either on my face or his. She's basically like a human cat. She's so funny. She makes us laugh on a daily basis, multiple times a day. I really can go on forever. I, I feel like a crazy cat mom now. <laughs> Me and my partner, we decided to try living in Dubai. We got into the dog rescuing scene. So we were working with the local shelter. They sent me a message. They needed an emergency foster for Bliss. She wasn't successful in finding a home or a foster. She was a breeder rescue dump. So they needed someone for her. I obviously took her in, but I kept seeing Tofi on their Instagram. So I kept asking, I said, well, can I take Tofi as well? She had been in the vet, just in a little cage because nobody wanted her. And they were just like, we don't know if she'd do well with bliss but i guess we're desperate let's let's try it out Tofi was in a place called Fajera, which is the stray dumping area. That's where the people dump their strays. She was run over by a car. If it was on purpose or not, we don't know, but she was basically left to die. Her spine was crushed completely. And so she can't use her back legs either. So she's never gonna regain the use of her legs and she can't control her bladder. Bliss, she's reserved, she's a little bougie, she's a little older, she's definitely more traumatized. She's been a lot of abuse, I can see. She doesn't like humans very much. It's taking a long time, but finally she's starting to sleep on the bed with us. She's definitely finally coming out of her cage, but it has taken over a month. It's really beautiful and touching seeing her come out and sort of look for me or my fiance when she's scared. You can just see it in her face and she'll just come and rub her feet on my legs and it's like, I'm okay as long as, as Nadine or Guillaume are there. It just breaks my heart that it's taken her a year and a half to find someone like this. We're never gonna give up on her. She's here forever, so it's just a matter of time. Tofi, seeing how now she kind of like communicates with us in her own way when she wants to go on the bed or when it's time for her to go on the grass, she'll just go sit by the backyard door and meow. She's not like nervous like she was. They have the confidence to be cats, not be scared, you know? They're sisters. They definitely play together sometimes. They come check on each other. They'll play for a little bit. They'll eat together and then they'll just go their separate ways. It's more like they need each other emotionally, I guess, because they were rescued together, living in Dubai together, gone through the whole airplane process together. They know that they're together now. So I guess they just sort of need each other mentally, even though they're two different cats. They're very different. When I was in Dubai, I was working with hundreds of dogs. I felt helpless. I felt like I was working against a system that was like, working against me. It was heartbreaking. I felt completely useless. When I look at Bliss and Tofi, I feel, okay, I wasn't able to make a crazy change, but I was able to rescue two of them. And it's reward that I'm gonna live with for the rest of my life. And I will continue to do this as much as I can. I left Dubai because I was miserable from all the animals that I lost. They kind of saved me from that misery. I look at them and I say, but I did this. You shouldn't be on the fence. There's only one side, do it. You're probably thinking it's so much work or you're probably thinking I don't have the time. You make time for the things that you want. It's free serotonin, it's free therapy. Yes, they're going to cost you in food, but it's, it's so worth it. The reward that I'm gonna have for the rest of my life. This is what I look forward to every single day. People often think that it's a responsibility, but the reality is it's gonna save you. It really is. You will never regret it, never, ever.